Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a clay flower. So what you're going to need is two colors of clay. One color that you want the petals to be and one color that you want the center to be. So I'm going to start off by using purple petals with a yellow center. You want to rip a piece off and you just want to play with the clay a little bit just to make it softer and easier to mold in the future. Once it's in a very easy to mold state, you want to rip a small piece and you want to roll it into a ball. Now this piece was a little too big, so I'm gonna rip it in half, roll it into a ball, and you're just gonna press it down. So make sure to press them so they're even sizes or close to even. These are pretty good size to me, and then you're going to do that until you have six. Don't be afraid to stop uh, what you're doing and re-roll it and reshape it. Don't try to reshape it too, too much if it isn't turning out great. You have six petals about the same size. You are going to take your second color and you are going to make a ball. I'm going to use a yellow because I feel like that is like a inside of a flower kind of color. So you just want to do the same kneading to make it a little bit more easy to mold like you did for the petals. <laughs> then you're going to roll it into a ball and you're only going to press it down a little bit so it is thicker. Then you can shape it into like a round kind of circle. So now that you have your six petals and your yellow circle for the center, you're going to want to Arrange your petals kind of like so they're a teeny bit la overlapping and touching each other. Not a lot, but just a decent amount. Do not be afraid to keep reshaping and editing it until you like it. Once you think you have a shape that you like, you can place your yellow dot in the center and that's what the final product is going to look like. So now you're just going to take off the yellow dot and you're going to look at the baking instructions on the back of your clay. My clay is probably different from the clay that you guys are using. So I am going to read the instructions and you guys are going to do that as a parent help you with it. Everyone's in every different brand and type of clay is a little different. If you have air dry clay, you don't need to deal with this. But I have baking clay so I'm going to bake it. You make sure to have a parent or an adult help you with the baking of yours. If you want, you can take apart these to bake. You can take apart each individual um, flower petal. I only took it apart, so it was in two pieces, each with three. To attach it, you're going to need some super glue. Make sure to cover your surface. Mine is just a ripped paper towel, just to make sure that the super glue does not get on the surface you're working on. So I'm gonna start off just by gluing the petals that I took apart together. Now, super glue does not take long to dry, so all that is drying. Then you just want to find the better side of yours. This has two little like cracks in it, so I'm going to put the glue on that side because it is not the prettier side. So the super glue does take a second to come out, so just be patient. I'm just going to place it down right in the center. And then I just want to let it dry a little bit. And then you are finished. This is the flower. I like it a lot. I think it's just a really cute kind of simple thing. You can definitely do a lot of colors. You can make as many as you want. I think I made my center really thick. But in the future, if I do the skin, I won't make it as thick. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys have fun making the craft. Bye!